Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It is August the 10th, 2024. The Olympic gold medal game for basketball is going to go off shortly. I'm making this at 10.18 a.m. Pacific time in the United States. Let's talk about it, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Folks, New York, excuse me, the United States, no doubt, has a loaded Olympic team. No question about it. I'll be rooting for them. But I'm taking France, and I'm getting 16 and a half points here. 16 and a half on the French. Let's talk about why. Understand, too, there are alt lines. They matter here. If you can bump the 16 and a half up to 19 points, I think that's even a stronger bet. You know, as loaded as the U.S. team is, basketball is a chemistry sport, right? This team, which some have compared to the dream team, um, in my opinion, isn't a great team. They were struggling in their last game. Steph Curry had to hit some big shots. Uh, LeBron James had to get a triple-double for the American team to win by, what, a handful of points? Four points? Five points? Now you're telling me that they're playing the home team. This is that Olympic finals that actually has a home team. The Olympics are in Paris. They're playing the French. Let's also point out the obvious here. If it's a slow-paced game, that makes the odds of France covering that much better. Would it shock you to know that the reigning NBA Defensive Player of the Year is Rudy Gobert, who's playing on the French team? The reigning NBA Rookie of the Year Let's add to that. He was among the top finishers for Defensive Player of the Year. Wemby, he's playing for the French team. So the French team has two of the best defensive players in the world on their team, and that includes NBA players. Folks, 16 and a half, you've got to be kidding. Let me say this too. You and I know the way the Olympics work. If the U.S. is up, even if the U.S. is up by double digits in the closing minutes of the game, the U.S. guys are not going to be interested in covering the spread. Basketball has a long tradition where you take guys off the court when they're on the verge of winning a big game, right? If the lead is sustainable. So you can imagine to get Steph Curry a hand or to get LeBron James a hand or to get Kevin Durant a hand or Devin Booker a hand. And by a hand, I mean applause from the crowd, um, have the announcing team talk about the greatness of the player, even if the U.S. is up by 20. Don't be surprised if Steve Kerr pulls players off the court just to give them an opportunity to receive individual recognition when they're taken out of the game. Let's talk about the French side of the play. Folks, when you're the home team, if you're getting beaten up, you're going to fight back. Do you think there's a chance that the French basketball team, even if they're down by 20, are going to stop pushing, are going to stop trying? I don't think there's any chance whatsoever. Let's also make the point, too, that the U.S. would really have to play better than they've been playing to cover this spread. Let's remember this team, right before the Olympics, gave up 100 points to South Sudan. So this team, while it has big-time players, they're not maximizing their performance. Steph Curry has to go out and score 36 points for the United States to come back against Serbia. Right? This U.S. team isn't playing at peak efficiency. 
And in my opinion, this point spread, 16 and a half points as I make this video. Prices in top efficiency. I like the French here getting 16 and a half points. I also have sprinkled some money on an alt line at 19 points. But understand the risk involved. If this loaded American team comes out and after having a scare against Serbia where they're losing the game well into the second half, after having that scare, and by the way, that scare comes after they were losing a game to South Sudan right before the Olympics, right? If the Americans are jolted back into an understanding that they could well lose this gold medal, and if they come out and they're on fire, and if Curry continues the hot streak, if Durant, if Booker, these are offensively blessed players, are able to up the tempo, and if the United States uh, wants to prove a point, if they win by more than 16 and a half points, you lose it all. That's the risk I'm taking. Let me hear from you in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.